little foreigner for, you know, super fan 99 over there. Freaking, uh, <laughs> Jacob Fudge. And Jonathan is Magnum. Must have really, really loved this movie because, uh, oh, I gotta get these glasses on. So I'll tell you what, when I even said, like, one little tiny thing that might have actually hinted being, uh, we're talking about War of the Planet of the Apes, by the way, uh, that might have been negative. John, he jumped right down my throat. Oh, dude, what are you talking about, man? What are you, what are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? This movie was fucking awesome. Tell me about that. Eh? Let me explain myself. I'll get to it later. But anyway, War of the Planet of the War! Of the Planet of the Apes. Listen. This freaking trilogy is amazing. Um, let me put it to you this way. For Alright, for the, the general movie, blah, 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 the person, Joe Blow, who doesn't really, really get into these things as much as I do. Uh, man, it sounds like, oh, it's like freaking ominous and dark in here because of freaking clouds. Or it's like, dude, it's like freaking, it's like 4.30 in the afternoon right now and it's like ominous and dark. And this, uh, uh, the television keeps on turning colors on me, so it's like creating this effect that I, I pay nothing for, damn it, and I give two fucks about it. Anyway, TGIF, cheers. All right, so you go to the movies every once in a while. You like this movie. You like that movie. <laughs> you're, you're not like, you know, my ilk of people who are out there who are just like incredible fans. Um, <clears throat> So, I'm speaking to you about this movie. I think that if you were a fan of the first two films, then you must go see this. Because this completes me. Um, no, it's a, it's a good fucking movie. It really, really is. I can't say enough good things about this movie and the entire series because they all kind of tie together pretty freaking perfectly. <coughs> um... As usual, Andy Serkis is the man, and he, Caesar is an excellent hero for this tale, and Serkis just absolutely knocks it out of the park multiple times playing this character over the years, and in this movie, it's absolutely no different. He is, uh, it did absolutely, he's captivating everything he does, everything, every way he looks, Everything is just absolutely amazing. Um, they have managed to create a world that you just cannot help but get sucked into. And uh, like I said, if you're a fan of this franchise and you were sucked into the second movie the way I was, uh, you're gonna get engulfed into this world again. And you're gonna, you know, I, if you're anything like me, when it starts nearing the end of the film, you're gonna find yourself sad just because you're not going to be in the world anymore, you know, it's, uh, uh, so, I don't know, it's, 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 a. Uh, to me, these movies were very, very profound, uh, being fans of the original Planet of the Apes, it's, it's kind of a little sacred ground there, especially for, uh, my friend Paco Rodriguez, Chinchilla Gonzalez, but, uh, they did it well, they did it, they did a really, really nice job with this movie, that's all I can say about that, uh, what else, no, 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 there were parts in the movie I would say that slowed down a little bit, I'm saying slowed down, I'm not saying dragged, it slowed down a bit, the, uh, uh but, but you really didn't care, because you were hanging out with the freaking apes, and you wanted, you just wanted to be around them, you know, just be around them, you know, it was, an, it was Marius too, and the other guys that I don't remember the name of, there was a little, girl who didn't say anything in this movie or rather she couldn't say anything in this movie that was uh she was she was a pleasant surprise to have around I th thought it was going to be like one of those annoying little kid type situations but it wasn't it turned into adding more depth and character to the apes that were surrounding her so she she proved to you know push those characters to another level which I thought was was pretty cool you know also developing some very, very emotional scenes. Very emotional scenes in this movie. Some uh, uh, very emotional movies. Very mo very emotional moments. So uh, be prepared for that. Um, <laughs> action sequences. Uh, you know, it, you know, it was there, but it wasn't, you know, that's not, it was there, but that's not the reason for being there, in my opinion. I think that the reason for being in this movie was to, to see these stories told and to be in the world with these apes. Um, again, I can't, I really can't say enough about it. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, Woody Harrelson, he did a pretty good job playing the bad guy in this movie. Nice. Uh, you know, if, if, if I would have to say if there was the weakest part of the movie, it was him, and that's not saying anything bad about the film. He was very good in it. So, uh, um, it's just that, you know, everybody else's performance were so stellar. It's just, you know, it was just, you know, it was just that kind of, it was just, it was, it was great. I really, really did have a, uh, I would, you know, I wouldn't say it's a feel good, good time, good time, go out there and <laughs> you're going to leave the movie with big old fucking cheesy grin on your face, but you will leave the movie like in a, in a, you know, a weird sense of nostalgia, you know, so our, uh, foggy piece of weird serenity kind of thing going on, you know, uh, I don't know. It's just a different kind of thing. Anyway, don't want to spoil the movie too much. Other than to say, the only other thing I can say that's not really spoilery is that uh, um, the soundtrack, of the score in the background, there was a, one scene in particular where it just sounded like they were mixing like a little bit of new, um, a little bit of new orchestration with the old school original Planet of the Apes score. And it just worked, like, to perfection. Worked to freaking perfection. So, you see, Johnny, you know, you can calm down. I like the movie. I loved it, as a matter of fact. Did love the movie, so you can calm me soon. <laughs> but anyway, at this point, I'm going to start spoiling it a little bit just because there's a couple things I'm going to want to talk about. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing major. I don't have hardly any gripes about this movie. Just want you to know that. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to drink my drink. I'm going to sip my beer. Then I'm going to give you a chance to bail out. Peace. Next one's up. Next one up is Valerian. And oh, by the way, we got Comic Con coming up next week, and I'm sure to make a video reviewing all the footage that was released that we either got to see or didn't get to see. So that's uh, you know next week in is uh, SDCC, and that's uh, you know <laughs> living in a nerd's paradise. But whatever. <laughs> anyway. Blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> All right, I'm about to spoil, so get the fuck out if you don't want to be spoiled, motherfuckers. Right, anyway, name of the movie was War of the Planet of the Apes. Now, I almost thought that the, the second movie had more of a war atmosphere than this one did. This one had some fighting in the very, very beginning. And then that was it. And then they went on their little journey. Everybody got captured. And then the, for the majority of the movie, they were in an internment. Or they were they were prisoners. They should have called it like internment camp for the Planet of the Apes. Or prison for the Planet of the Apes. Or something like that. But it was hardly a war. Um, you know, when you picture a war, you picture, you know, an all-out freaking battlefield. Apes on fucking horses on one side. And freaking humans on the other side. And them just fucking going at it. But that wasn't the case. There was one scene in the woods that were where they went at it and the apes got the better of them on that exchange so you know and listen i'm not saying that that that's a bad thing i'm just saying it didn't live up to it when i say it didn't live up to its name that's what i mean by that it doesn't mean that i didn't enjoy the movie it doesn't mean i didn't love the movie it just happened to be the fact that the name of the movie was war of the planet of the apes and this wasn't really a war all i'm saying so that's that uh as far as the ending was concerned i didn't uh, choke up. I actually choked up a little bit more when the bigger one, bigger one bought it early on than I did at Caesar. I don't know why. I don't know if I took my insensitive pills right before I dropped into this film and just decided it wasn't emotional. I was sad, no doubt. I was definitely sad, but uh, <coughs> but I wasn't. I, I did. It didn't move me to tears like I thought a situation like that would have. You know, that's that's all I'm saying. I was definitely sad, but I think I was more sad that. You know, if they kept them alive, we could actually keep this fucking thing going. And I didn't, you know, necessarily, I didn't really want them to stop at three. And it seems like that's what they're doing. It seems like they're stopping at three. And I think I would have preferred them, fuck it, man, go fast and the furious rock with this motherfucker. And just make 20 of these films. I love being there. So that's uh, my two cents on freaking War of the Planet of the Apes. I ain't got nothing else for you. Uh, oh, it was the, the one thing that I've really, really dug a lot in this movie was the continuing progression of uh of uh, caesar's character especially you know always building on his character and they get to, and they and, and they stack it up you know and then, and in this one i think what propelled his character even more is his struggles with killing Koba. he actually kind of he had a, he had a hard time with that and that that's like really 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 like you know freaking indicative fucking caesar you know like he did what had to be done 
but he fucking struggled with it. It wasn't something that he wanted to do, and he didn't like the fact that ape, not kill ape, that shit fucking sticks in his fucking mind, and he was thinking about that when he was overlooking, you know, the bodies that, you know, uh, Harrison's char character freaking killed because, and he was thinking, yeah, I'm no better than that motherfucker, you know? So, it's just, you know, such a fucking masterpiece of a character that the, that uh, Circus put together. Uh, and just very, very well done. CGI is great. I guess the only other thing I can say is that if uh, you probably, uh, I don't think I felt I didn't I didn't feel the need for 3D in this particular movie. I think it would have been just as well served if you saw it in the regular. I did see it in 3D, but all, all along when I was watching, I was like, yeah, you know, this is like an Earthbound kind of movie. You know, 3D is probably good for like you know space movies and everything like that, and I swear to God, Hollywood only does this so they can tack on the other three fucking dollars, so, but, uh, there's that, anyway, so anyway, Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets is what's coming up next, nobody's going to see this movie, I'm going to see this fucking movie, because, uh, two reasons, Luke fucking Besson, fifth fucking element, those two fucking reasons alone, are the only reason I'm going to see Valerian, and this is something that Luke has actually wanted to do for a while, so I think he's vested in this project, I do, however, believe that Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets is going to be the John Carter of fucking 2017. It's going to be probably one of the a, a pretty fucking decent film that nobody goes to see. <laughs> and um, San Diego Comic Con Derp, if you're watching this, listen, we got to work our schedules out, bro. What are you doing? You working? I just need to know when I'm on deck to fucking look for shit. But uh, I'm I'm down to fucking do the whole weekend. But uh, I, dude, I know you're you're masterful at fucking covering of uh, of Comic Con. I am a fucking you know I pale into comparison as the of the things that you fucking throw up for us. You're always good about getting the news out to us as soon as it fucking happens. And uh, uh, so uh, you know, hey, thanks for that. But uh, if you uh, whatever, man, if you want me to fucking you know, if you got to work one day and you just be like, yo, dude, keep an eye out for news, then uh, you know I ain't got shit going on next weekend. So I'm down. Love you all. Do something good for yourself. Do something good for somebody else. I think I forgot to say that during Spider-Man shit last week. I think that's the first time I haven't said that phrase since Obi-Wan Kenobi was somebody else. Whatever. Anyway. Love you guys.